Yep, that's not illusion. Welcome back. Two blue Fords in here. A 48 and a 66. And, of course, plenty of messes. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I'm trying to tidy this up a little bit, even though it's old and a raggedy old truck. I'm wrapping all the wires. <clears throat> I'll wrap it. I started there. We'll wrap it all the way across. I'll get rid of those holders. I'll put the... Hopefully, I can find enough on the other old trucks to find. Put the uh, original holders back in, and there's just a mess of wires everywhere. There was a... Yeah, I don't even know where I threw it. Let's see where it went. Uh, it's on the floor somewhere. Not sure. Yeah, it might be that right there. That was what was on the... Uh, to run the alternator. You could have started a car with that. This is a one-wire feed. Like a Chevy alternator, but in the Ford casing. So I put a new belt on it. Um, that radiator is way too small. Um, so I put... I'm going to put another radiator in it, and I am putting the thermal fan back on it. That should be on a, well, it goes on a 95. Uh, that is a, I believe, a 71, uh, 351. So I'm going to put this radiator in it. And I took this one out of the other 66 because it had a little dent here that was leaking. I kind of cleaned it up tonight. Uh, and I had a flux, so I'll get some tomorrow morning and I will, uh, I'll solder this in. That's the only leak on that whole radiator. And actually, let's see if you can see down in there or not. But the radiator is pretty clean. It came out of that uh, 66, uh, the long box there with a big block in it. That came out of that. And that's got 70,000 original miles on it, or 72 now. Been driving it quite a bit. So, so I got to get this little truck up and running. It was running. I drove it in here, but it's just got odds and ends of stuff that was driving me crazy. The radiator. Uh, I had this nice little aluminum radiator with a big fan on it. There was just not enough capacity on that. So that fan was running pretty much once it came up to somewhat to a temperature. And it was kind of, you know, kind of rat rotted. And I'm just trying to get this truck a little bit better back to where it's a little more presentable, it, which it's a really cool truck. Uh, I ordered, I thought I had some left over, but I ordered the little block out that goes in here for the mirror, that style mirror. And I got some mud flaps. I got a piece of angle iron and some flat stock and I'll, uh, I'll make a set of uh, mud flat brackets for the back. I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lose the uh, reese hitch and put that on the, uh, the 95, uh, the 95 Eddy Bauer edition. And I've got a really cool uh, bumper wraparound that was on a, uh, that was originally came on this truck. This truck, from what I can understand, is from the bits and pieces that I found, probably was originally sold in the Southwest. And, uh, or at least it was, from what I can tell, these are hard to tell on these old trucks, the destinations where they were and everything. But um, the dead giveaway is, this was a flatbed truck right from the factory. So uh, it was a farm truck. Order is cab chassis, uh, three quarter ton. And the bumper that's on the back of it, and I'll bring it around and clean it up, but it has the writing on it and it's out of the Midwest where, where, uh, where they you know, used to stamp the logo of the Ford dealership into the rear bumper. Well, that's got that. And it's kind of cool because it kind of wraps around. It's not in horrible shape. I think I can clean it up, put a coat of paint on it and it'll, uh, It'll look okay. Um, so I'm going to get that radiator soldered. I'll get that back in. I don't like where the alternator is. It's not on the, uh, it's not on the original position. It should be over here. But it seems like a lot of work to get that changed around. And this kind of has a newer style pump on it, which makes the housing a little different. Uh, so, but it is a, it has a mechanical fuel pump on it and, uh, just stock manifolds. So, yeah, I got some better looking blue valve covers. 
Somebody painted it red because it. Uh, the story in this motor is it wasn't a Model A. The guy I bought it from, um, well, the guy I bought it from bought it from the guy that bought the Model A, took the 351 out of it, and put a uh, Chevy 350 in it. He bought it to put in his rig and kind of ran on hard times and stuff and never got around to it. And I bought a whole bunch of 1950s, early 50s Ford parts and this motor. So uh, this motor, from what he tells me, was very low mileage. Knows, runs really good. It's got a mild cam in it. So, yeah. So, yeah. Taking some of the paint. This was all painted. Maybe some stripper. Stripped off the paint. I got the other one over here I'm working on. Right over here. There'll be a little more cleanup on this one. But, yeah, this will come right back. And I'll put that on the other side. Uh, there was, I had an extra mirror, so you can see where there. See the white mirror? Well, that one's going to go over there. This one. Yeah, there's three mirrors in this truck, so one on the seat. So, yeah, that's what I am. So, I'm just trying to tidy the wiring up. This is a headlight harness. I will put it in here. I got the little clips that clip into here all the way across. Uh, put that in before I put the radiator back in, the heat butt end connector. So, I've been trying to take these apart and solder them and then heat shrink them. As I've been coming across, I'm right to here. These are all done. I'll have a couple here to do, uh, but I gotta take the, uh, right here, I gotta take this all out uh, to uh, get it back to what it should be. I'm gonna strip these down. These were chrome at one time. Uh, when I originally owned this truck, those were chrome. The grill wasn't, the grill was white. They got happy with the paint can and got the bumper. I'll have to take an SOS or some paint reducer or something, try to get that off, clean that bumper up. It's all licensed, or excuse me, it's all insured. I gotta drop the paperwork off and pick the tags up for it. Hopefully this week sometime, and uh, that way I can give it a little whirl around. It does run good. It's three quarter ton. It's got new brakes all the way around, brake lines, fuel tank. Uh, yeah, that's where I am. Uh, well, so I'll be taking the uh, I'll be taking the fifth wheel hook off it. There was a fifth wheel hook on it because the guy used to move his trailer around. He had a gooseneck trailer, so. It does have dual exhaust. It sounds really good. The brakes are really good on it. It's got uh, power brakes, power drums, um, and power steering. Factory packed power steering truck. It's it's no, it's never going to win any beauty awards. But uh, I may throw some paint on it maybe uh, this fall or or next spring or something. You see, I started cleaning up some of the chrome there that's been painted white. So I took all the the molding off the side. When I do paint it, uh, I will I'll fix that. Uh, I'll weld in those little spots and uh, go from there. Okay. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Sorry about a long time without a video, but it's been busy at work and uh, wife's been busy. So uh, uh, Saturday night, I'm up here doing, I came up to shut some lights off in the shop and end up working an hour on uh, tidying up some of that wiring. I'll get back on it again maybe tomorrow or uh, Monday, and Monday night and do get that cleaned up, get the radiator soldered back in. I'll give you a video of it running. I think you guys probably heard it running when it was out in the back shop. So I'll do a video on this. It's been sitting in the shop for a while, and I'll do a video on this later. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the comments. Uh, a lot of good videos out there I'm watching. Um, there's so many talented people out there. I even put my videos up because you're... <laughs> You guys are so talented. Uh, what I what I do and what I watch you guys do, you guys are awesome out there. So keep up good work, great videos, and I'll see you guys soon.